This is boric acid. It's a chemical that's fairly inert and it's readily available from eBay very cheaply. Um, you can get it in granular form or a fine powder form like uh, talcum powder. And to be honest, the talcum powdery type uh, is, is so much more useful than, than the granular. However, on the subject of boric acid, it, it forms naturally in nature. It's found around volcanoes and it also occurs naturally in, in plants and fruit. It's not highly toxic, although different people have different opinions. I mean, you go on the internet and you'll find people that say it's deadly toxic and you'll find other people saying it's not. I'm inclined to think it's not hideously toxic at all. In fact, I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is and eat some. Just a little bit. It tastes like a slightly bitter chalk. Anyway, the reports vary from uh, some people say that uh, 20 grams is enough to kill you, and other people say that up to 20 grams per kilogram of body weight uh, would kill you. And honestly, if that was the case, then I'd have to eat twice as much as is in this bag. I'd have to eat two kilograms, which is about four pounds, to kill me, which is yeah, I, I'm not going to do that because it doesn't actually taste very nice in the first place. So, relatively low toxicity, but as with all chemicals, just uh, take usual precautions. Um, there doesn't seem to be much really valid information on the internet about that. However, one uh, area where it really is toxic is insects. And this is where the fine powdered stuff comes in handy because if you have a problem with ants or roaches then all you have to do is dust this stuff around where they're likely to walk and when they walk through it it sticks to their body and then when they wash it off later on by licking licking it off to groom themselves they ingest it and it disrupts their metabolism so it's quite a common um, uh, treatment uh, for you can buy tubs with little puffer nozzles on it for dusting it round um, skirting boards and stuff like that for to deal with insects. Um, other than that, it's used used to be used a lot in sterile dressings in the first aid industry, and it's still used in eye drops. And if you take a very small quantity of this, and I'll just get this out of the way at the moment, and you dust it into footwear like say for instance this skanky old pair of trainers or sneakers if you just um, dust some in, just not too much, just a slight shaking and you just shake it through the shoes then if you've ever had problems with um, with foot odour or athlete's foot they will be gone. It absolutely kills all fungal growths in, in footwear and it, it has an antibacterial and antifungal action, uh, a very natural action. It's a traditional remedy and it completely beats foot powders like mysil or the Schkoll foot powder. I, I tried all those powders and you just use tub after tub after tub with no results. Boric acid works really well. So that's where the fine powder is quite handy. Um, it's um, also used in flame retarding woods and papers. Um, they add the chemical in a solution form into processed wood and it has flame inhibiting it. It stops the spread of fire in it. Um, it's used in the preservation industry because it kills wood rot like dry rot and wet rot. Um, it's used in the welding industry as a flux uh, it's used as a special lubricant, specialised lubricant, because um, if you mix a paste of this with oil, um, it apparently has a strange characteristic where the more pressure between two metal or ceramic surfaces applied on this oil uh, with the loaded with boric acid, it creates a lower friction the harder the pressure that's applied. It's sort of inverse proportional. It's, um, it's very odd. It's also used as a dry lubricant uh, in some games that involve shoving a puck across a wooden surface uh, and they just dust this stuff on the surface and it makes the, the pucks travel quite a distance. But one of my favourite applications for this is when you pour a little bit of it in a tub and this is where, uh, I'm actually filming this just before Halloween and this is where it would actually be really great at Halloween. 
if you put some of this in a container and you mix it with a alcohol like for instance uh, methanol or in my case I'm going to use methylated spirits which is just a common um, denatured alcohol that you find in the UK so I'm just going to add some of that in add the whole lot and in fact there's not much left I'm going to stir it around with my finger which is just you know probably not ideal really but hey so I'm just going to mix it in so it dissolves into the alcohol a bit and then try not to set fire to my finger I'm going to put that where the camera gets a really good view of it without actually setting fire to the camera and then I'm going to get this completely ridiculously over the top because matches yes, over dramatic matches yeah and I'm going to light it that match is grossly over dramatic but I like it um, it's now lit, and you may see that it's burning with a slight blue flame. Um, and that will change as it heats up and uh, starts burning the um, boric acid. Well, st the boric acid starts going up in the flame. And I shall turn the light off so you can see this effect. Because it burns with the most amazingly vividly green flame. It's really quite... Uh, incredibly green to look at. Now this is why you have to use an alcohol that's going to burn with a, a yellow flame, uh, sorry a blue flame. If you use something like isopropyl alcohol it's not going to work so well because the yellow flame of the alcohol will mask the green that's added by the uh, boric acid. But um, yeah this is this is a visually nice effect but I would recommend it's only done outdoors because, and I'll turn the light back on, because it gives off a sort of smoky haze at the same time as it burns and uh, this is more so as it burns down to the actual powder itself it seems to actually put out a slight haze of the powder into the air so it can get a bit messy I'm not even sure how what the health implications of that are but uh, I don't think it's seriously harmful but as I say probably better done outdoors now how do I put this out? a glass jar oxygen starvation so yeah, boric acid is really very interesting, cheap and very useful.